This is Brian with Adventure Riding TV. In this episode, Pam, who goes by the screen name Tiki Trex when she does her exploring, visits a large, lone, abandoned farmhouse that sits on 40 acres of land. The house is slated to be demolished. Afterwards, she visits an old, desolate, abandoned shack house. Doesn't that look like a lonely house? I have a feeling whoever lived here used to do a lot of deliveries for, you know, pizza, takeout sort of thing because they have their address in big letters on the front of the house so that the cars from the street can see it better. sheds out back here. Here's the back. I have no idea how long this has been abandoned, but the doors open. The front window is totally knocked out, so it's obviously abandoned. I haven't been in here yet. left a jug of water here. It still has water in it. Well, it looks pretty trashed. Well, it's definitely not newly abandoned. Looks like it's been like this for some time. Unfortunately, they didn't leave much behind by the looks of things. Let's see. Yeah, they even cleaned out the cupboards. See the floor? It's just filled with gyp rock. Well, that's interesting. This place has huge windows. In a long driveway, see? That's why they needed that big address sign out front if they're going to be ordering deliveries. Because there's already an address on the mailbox for the mailman, so... Oh, the front door is locked. in the kitchen. It still feels pretty sturdy. Look at the size of the window sill. Pretty deep. if the uh, copper thieves have been here and here. Okay, well this is different looking. It's like stairs going up here. Okay, that's kind of an odd place to put the stairs in the bathroom. 
Okay, I'll have to remember that and come back there. September 2011. There's another front room here, and that window there is wide open. Look at the size of it. Tall ceilings, I'd say about 11 feet high. Got your old farmhouse wallpaper. There's the green design on the uh, light fixture that's no longer there. Or maybe there is a fan blade, who knows. I noticed these are all out though, where the, uh, the floor vent, I guess. Going into the basement, you can feel the cold air actually blowing up. I wonder if someone stole them for the metal. Okay, here's the front entrance. This, this out. Some sort of an old fashioned bell. Oh, yeah, look at it. Huh. So we have that's also a front door, so there's two front doors. And here's the second set of steps. And that a yellow decor on that one. Those are kind of neat looking. Okay, well, let's head up here. Nice woodwork. Pretty old fashioned wallpaper. Floors feel a little slanted. Another big window looking out the front here. Nope. Didn't leave anything behind for the bedrooms. Actually, that's a pretty good size for a, a bedroom for a farmhouse. In my experience, most of them are usually pretty small. It actually smells like they've recently painted in here. And this one's a little smaller. The only piece of furniture I've found so far. A Chinese umbrella. Cigarette butts. Some old window panes. Okay, moving right along. So that's the second bedroom. Here's the third one. Oh, hmm. I wonder if somebody's sleeping here. Oh, that's not good. There's a hole in the floor right there. I wonder if there is one of those vents there that right here, possibly. That was probably I don't know, maybe that went in there. Here's looking out the back. See, there's still a pillow there and everything. Makes you wonder. 
Well, if there's somebody in here looking for the metal, I mean, that's not taken yet. Well, that's a good size bathroom. Looks like they tried to redo the shower and everything. Those are pretty modern tiles. Looks like a newer sink. Countertop there. New ceramic tiling on the floor in here. Looks like it might have been a newer toilet they were going to install. What are these? Oh, for the shower curtain. Bumblebees. Okay. Focus. So that was three bedrooms and a bathroom, and it looks like there's a fourth bedroom down here. Floor feels like it's not very, you know, even. Yeah, it's a little smaller. Yeah, they certainly didn't leave much behind. Feminine product there. Yeah, no power. That would be the stairs, likely that. Go back down to the um, kitchen. Or no, the bathroom that comes off the kitchen. And as always, you have your dead flies or bees and wasps in the windowsill. Okay. Well, let's head back down. Okay, the stairs look a little, I don't know, dodgy. I'm just going to turn off the camera and then I'll turn this on when I back, get back down there. Okay, down in the basement. Not much to see here. Just a stone wall foundation. What's this? Oh, it looks like a salt for the water softener. Eerie looking window, eerie looking door. Pretty musty down here. And mushy. And that window's open so that helps for ventilation. That's been cut. Oh, just walk through a web. Zoned. It looks like they're possibly turning this to commercial zonage. Is that a word? Zonage? I don't think so. This funny looking door. Look at the holes. I wonder what's up with that. Hmm. They're all over the place. It's kind of gouged out, kind of the beginning of a hole. And there's another room here. Oh, 
nothing here, just an empty room. Looks like hay. More hay. And a hole from this end. Okay, so that's about it for this house. I'm gonna make my way back up those decrepit stairs and this go over this mushy floor. And then I'm out of here. I thought I'd just check out these sheds before I go. Probably not much left in these either. Garage sale signs. They're probably trying to get rid of a lot of their stuff, maybe before they moved out. I don't see any barns or anything, so it might not have been a farm. They're into flowers. Looks like a little workshop with some nails and screws in there. A lot of bricks. But then you see some of these hay stacks or whatever they are. So it must have been somewhat of a farm. Maybe the barns just tore right down. They have a little pond here. in here, just a toilet. You can see the way the walls slant it to the right. I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but it's really visible. And really, oh, there's a bird just sort of flew through there. Yeah, not much in here really to see. development around that's closing in right on this property right here and it seems to have some structures on the property as well there's a shed there and a really decrepit one over there Here's looking at the side of it. So you see how close those houses are. I don't imagine this will be standing too much longer. They're closing in pretty quick. They have it boarded up pretty well. Let's see if there's an actual basement here or just a crawl space. Oh, whatever it is, it's flooded. Can you see the water down there? Looks like a full-size basement, but lots of water. OK. 
Okay, good. Let's get my mask on. Now what's in here first? Okay, it just looks like a garden type shed. It's an elastic coat behind, or long jacket. Lots of glass. Pretty rough shape, I'll tell ya. glass crunching beneath my feet. Okay, I don't know how good, the, how good this floor is. Okay, here's the kitchen. Ceiling's pretty rough. A little bathroom. It doesn't look like the copper thieves have been here. It's a uh, pretty small dryer. See the uh, linoleum floor is all buckling up there. Looks like Arm and Hammer. Check out the ceiling. It's all rotting away. That'll be the attic because it's only one level. I used to have a smoke detector. And they had the washer in the kitchen. So they had the washer and dryer in the kitchen. Whoa. Okay, right here. The floor actually pushes down. So I'm going to try to walk on the beam here. One of those uh, portable closets. You can see on the floor there's a lot of buckling where you can see where the beams are. I doubt it'll take much effort to tear this house down, that's for sure. Another fridge. You know the what the floor is probably pretty weak there because the window is open. There's nothing in there. And another little room, very small room. Looks like rolls of carpeting. 
Yeah, that's what it is. I guess they were going to carpet it at one time. Looks like an old barnwood door. That's it for the house. <laughs> Not much to see in here. Let's check out the uh, one shed there. Look at that one there. Well, there's some furniture in here. And a bird flying around there. I don't know if you can see it's flying in circles up there. Probably protecting the nest. It's okay buddy, I'm getting out of here. Let's see this one. A little chair. And that'll all be houses one day. That looks like it used to be a large barn right there. It's already fallen down. glass. All the furniture from the house must have been thrown out here. Oh, actually. It's an actual doorway, but it's too full of junk in there to walk. Little briefcase, hunting countries. Someone's been here walking around, the grass is flattened. Wow, look at the junk. There's no walking in there, even if you want it to. I mean, that's a true definition of dumpster diving if you were to. Exciting to see there. Here is the remains of the barn. Thanks for watching.